Hey YouTube, it's that dude named Dave and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, we have to do my price for mission. I don't charge much for these videos. Like, subscribe, and the bell notification below. Here's the thing, you guys are watching my videos, but everyone is not sub yet. So let me help you by helping me out here. Give you guys a few seconds to do this. Okay, few seconds, we have that out the way. Today's video, we're coming back to Kendra G. Now, she had a single woman call in looking for a husband. Let's just say it looks like that Kendra G might be fed up with the sister code. So let's get to the video. Is Kendra actually gonna cook? And we're gonna try to make this make sense. You're fine with that. Yeah, he can. Okay. Both of your kids have the same child's father, right? Um, yes and no. So, Yes or when, no? Before my husband and I got married, um, well, my ex-husband and I got married, um, I left him because of the abusive situation. And then um, I started dating my younger child's father and I got pregnant and I- So pause, him. they don't have the same father then. Legally, my husband agreed to get married with me before uh, we got pregnant, uh, before okay, I Okay, let me ask what? this question directly because we're not gonna do this talk. Hold on y'all. Do both of the kids come from the same sperm? No. Right, good question. No. Okay. Oh. So, okay, so I understand there might be an adoption. So there's two different men. And again, shout out to y'all in the comments because I missed that one too. Someone You're always in the comments said Kendra. that you, you changed that answer. I have to be very specific well, and direct with these questions. That's why. My, my youngest daughter's father was never ever in the picture. But Tara, but, Tara, that's fine. But you said you want a person that's honest. You yeah. sat up here and, and you gave a bold face lie. Tara, you have any kids? Yes, I do. Me and my daughter was just watching your show. She's like, she's like, she finally picked you. I'm not camera ready. <laughs> you pushed the request. Yes, I know. I knew you were gonna say that. Um, you have okay, you said your daughter, you have one child? I have two. I have a six year old and my oldest will be twelve in July. A six year old and twelve. Same mom? I mean excuse me, same dad? Uh yes. Same. Um, not really. They're not because Let me pause early here what the hell is going on here we're getting to the point now that women are not only lying about their bodies they're lying about the men they have the kids with with said bodies okay you have two kids by two different men and clearly in the same video she's out here talking about that these kids belong to the same man oh boy we are off to a bad start. I hate to see what my comment section is saying right now. Let's get back to the video. By the same if, man. Your children are not if, by the same guy. That's that's if, not a factual statement. If if you knew like me and like my situation, you could I understand. It's kind first of all, Tara, if I, I, I knew you I, I picked on you because I see your name a lot in the comments. You're very positive. So so I'm not trying, so I don't want you to take this as I'm being mean to you because I'm not be being mean, mean to Kendra. you. I know what women, I, I, whenever I have to have direct conversations with women, they be like, "Oh, Kendra is so mean." I'm not being mean, but we. But one not, thing we not going to do, Tara. I'm cutting Kendra off for a second here. Kendra, you are not mean. My tribe has seen your videos. We react to your videos in the last several months here. You know what happens here? You say one thing against the grain, and the whole sister code goes against you. What we're seeing here from this video is how I always mentioned how Kendra is strong with the sister code, but if she says one thing here, she's agitated. She's annoyed because she said, hey, if I say this here, all women come for me. No, Kendra, our video showcased that you are still a big caper for women. You may say one thing and the women give you backlash. And now you are hearing what men are talking about here. We will talk and state our issues with women here. And then we're called, we're bashing or saying that, oh, we don't understand women or who hurts you. In actuality, no, women cannot take criticism. And that's what we're seeing here. And Kendra doing her show now is finally realizing and experiencing what men have been talking about here. So let's get back to the video and see what else Kendra's gonna say. It's play uh, uh, an imagination game. The question is very clear. And the so clear question, hold on. And the clear question I ask everybody 
when they have multiple children is it by the same woman same man you said it is by the same man they are not mm -hmm. by the same man that's a that's that's fair to say right yeah um when i think about it i don't think that way though because the situation because um in my mind it's like in your I mind have one child's father you understand what i'm saying no, no. In my, well, i don't understand question, that is the answer that i give and then i give an explanation like i was trying to give to you but you because, didn't give the explanation when you first when i first asked you you just said yes and somebody in the comments picked it up i had to come a little so bit you didn't, so so that's not true you didn't say in the beginning they have the same dad you didn't give the explanation you left it at a yes and we kept going with the conversation so that's not true so what you require liar is honesty but you are not being honest i don't think I, you'd be I, honest I, with yourself sorry when huh? when i when i meet an individual whoever it may be and I tell them, you know, cause obviously I don't, I don't introduce them to my children right away, but I do tell them about them. And I'll tell them like, this is what I expect. And I know, kind of, you know, this is complicated, but this is the story and this is the situation. And you know, I, I completely spell it all out. I never leave it. Do you agree if she's gonna spell it all out? I'm stopping here because she clearly lied to Kendra. You believe her that when she talks to a man that she's interested in, you really believe that she's gonna tell him, you know what, I do have two kids, but they're by two different men. Or are you gonna believe the story that she gave at first where that she has the ex-husband and both kids belong to them? And then if you dig down deep, she can be like, well, the other guy wasn't in the picture, so he's the only father. She ain't telling the truth, she lying, y'all. Come on, make this make sense. Let's get back to the video, oh boy anything you know to a mystery because i feel like that's it is unfair. a mystery so you know whereas our few minutes on here may not explain everything you know i am the type of person that always explains everything no, let you me don't. ask you a question tara do you think there's anything you have to work on yourself oh here we go um, what you gotta work absolutely. on babe? i think as a human being we always have to take every single day as a learning experience i feel like okay. it's never too late to learn okay. i feel like it's never a day to stop learning so okay. i would think that there's something that we can improve on every single day however um that's where i was saying earlier about me kind of trying to work on myself in the meantime because I, and not be pressed for something you know if it comes you know that that's a wonderful thing you know love okay is, get is to it definitely though what i'm in search for but i so what, want what is because one thing you also said is that you feel like right now you're at your best so what are some things you think you do have to work on Okay, fine. Let's get to it now. Um, I don't know. Patience a little bit. Um, just trying to um, learn me a little bit better in a general sense, I think. Okay. I think you're a sweet... Seriously? Kendra asked the question the first time, which you got to work on. You gave a whole bunch of janky word salad. You're supposed to work on yourself every day. You're supposed to build. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's what human beings were supposed to do. Yeah, we grow every day. We're supposed to build. We're adults. Then Kendra asked again. This is the first time that Kendra is staying on the lane. She is pushing the buttons. So what did she say? I need to work on more patience. I... You gave nothing what you need to work on. You know what the actual patient need to work on? The patient's to say, hey, I need to stop eating all this damn food. I need to, the patient to get away from this table. Look at her face. <laughs> it is a little bit wider. And you can say, Dave, you're being, you're being rude, you're being mean. But if someone asks you, what do I need to work on? The first thing I'm gonna say is my most, most important things. And we can tell by her face is the fact that she needs to work on her health, her weight. She is not someone who is in shape. She is someone who needs to work on her dietary needs. So the fact that it was a lot of silence and then the only thing that she came up with patience showcases what Kendra is actually being right here is the fact that she cannot be honest with herself. How many women lie to themselves to make themselves good about, them, about their lives every day? Let's get back to the video. Eat woman but I think you have a lot of things you gotta get together. And one of the things I think you need to get together is you kept saying in your mind, like you have a vision yeah. of stuff in your mind, but you also have to be honest with the person 
whoever you're meeting, right? So we get been through a lot, Kendra, and that's why I tell you that it's it's a it's very complication. Like it's very well, complicated. Well, sorry, not to cut you off, but you're a fan of the show, and you know how the show works. So so you know, so just just being honest and fair, we're two years in this game. So I don't call anyone. You volunteer to come on this show. By I this moment, it. most people know all the questions I'm gonna ask. You probably mm -hmm. even know me. You know the people in the comments of how they gonna get down. So I hear what you're saying, but you came up here knowing what you were about to get into. Oh, and the absolutely. one thing we do over here is we gonna keep it as real as possible. So mm -hmm. again, I think you're a sweet woman, but I think you can't give the version of truth in your head. You have to give the reality of truth. Mm -hmm. That is a line that I see a lot of women do. It's in my comment section as well. And uh, if y'all watching this, I'm calling y'all out, but not by name. Women always want to go to, oh, I think that she's so sweet. Oh, look at her. You look at her demeanor. You know, she seems so nice. Maybe she didn't mean what you actually, she actually said there. She may have misspoke, or, but she's so sweet. Look at her in the video. Seriously. 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 Women always go to, oh, she is so sweet. Do you see how easily that line, women could do a little few things here where other women will negate everything else. Now in this particular video, Kendra's fed up here. So she's driving in that, yeah, I see you're sweet here. This is why I'm going at you like this here. That's the problem. Women think that women are sweet when actuality, that's a facade. Let's get back to the video. That's something that I would suggest moving forward. And I think the first, and then the more you're living in the reality of the truth that's happening in your life, it will A, either help you focus on changing the reality, and then you could attract the certain type of person you want to attract, or you don't change the reality and just deal with the people that you attract because of your reality. Yeah. I totally understand what you're saying. Um, I, Do you it's really, just Kendra? I, I I don't ever want anyone to think that I'm I'm ever telling a story. If anybody ever has a question, I'm always going to be transparent, even though it may be a little bit longer of a response. You're not transparent <laughs> today. Might want. So um, that's not the case. I just I just been through a lot. You know, within my my last relationship, I was just very committed to something I didn't know that I should have gotten away from. So with that. It just led into a lot of complications, more like a, a Bonnie and Clyde type of situation that was more Bonnie than Clyde, if you will. So what? it's like, ever since then, I have been worried about myself because I don't ever want to get in a situation like that again. So that's why I said I'm not like in a rush, but if there's somebody that God sends my way, then that's what, you know, maybe I'm meant for. Got you. Let God ain't sending nobody your way. We need to stop this ladies. God ain't gonna give you no man with these type of things that you're bringing to the table, especially on this Kendra G show. You really think that off the rip that God is gonna give you a decent man, a high earning man, a high value man, hell, an average man with you lying out of pocket like this and you can't be honest with yourself. Make that make sense. And the sister code is coming for you because the way Kendra G is going at you, you're not being honest with yourself. If you can't be honest with yourself, how do you expect a man to relate and you can be honest with him? Back to the video. Let's do it, Tara. Give them your Facebook page. Our Facebook name is my full name, Tara Alexandria Thomas. And um, are we doing Instagram since we're down a little bit? I mean, you can give Instagram. I know, hopefully, child, I'm praying for Instagram. Now, I don't know what I'm getting out of Instagram, Joe. I You'll check get it every day. I've been, I in contact, I, I've been in contact with them. So let's Absolutely. just pray. But give you, you, you're able to give both connections right now. Go ahead. Okay. So again, my Facebook is Tara Alexandria Thomas. And my Instagram is tttime2022. It's tttime2022. And there you have it. All right, baby. Are y'all gonna reach out to her? I put that on purpose here because it's on it's on Kendra's site here, so I didn't want to blank that out. So I want to know the comment section. Hearing what you hearing here, y'all gonna reach out for a date for her? Do you think that she may be your soulmate? You ready to be a stepdaddy? Hit her up. Keep me focused. Um, keep me updated, baby. Thank you. Have All a good right. night. Bye.
Um, before I go any further, let me let me address some comments. Okay, Kendra. Because I'm tired of it. I'm oh. really tired of whenever I have to have a direct moment with a woman. The oh, Kendra, you're being insensitive. You're making people feel low. Don't watch my show. If that's how you feel, do not watch it. Because when I have a man up here, there's nothing but women. Actually, let me talk about this. I have a guy on my Facebook page right now who's in a jacuzzi. And there are so many women in the comments saying, he's gay, he's this, he's a sissy, he's giving me feminine vibes. You women don't have any problems expressing yourself when it's something negative to a male. But let a woman come up here and we have to have a real talk moment. All of a sudden, I don't like this show because I feel low. You don't like this show because your ass don't want to take direct criticism. And you know what? That's why your ass is going to be watching me as long as I do the show. And you ain't going to get a man because you're not strong enough to woman up and maybe realize there's some shit you got to get together. Okay, so I'm really done with the sensitive women that watch the show that are always complaining when I got to give a woman real talk. And I do it in the most sensitive way as possible, if you guys ever notice. It's exhausting. It really is. So I don't want you to watch my show no more. If you feel as though I'm making someone feel low, this show ain't for you. Go do something else with your Saturday night, with your Friday night, with your life, because I'm over it. Especially when women are literally more mean than the men on my show. Go to the comments on my page. It is 80% women saying the negative things. I'm over that shit. So if you guys can dish it, learn how to take it. And it's that simple. I'm not going to sit up here walking on eggshells, talking to women when they got crazy shit happening in their life because you guys are so freaking sensitive. Women up. Maybe it's time for you to do something in your life and kind of get your shit together. Have you ever thought of that? Absolutely, there's men up here that got crazy shit going on. I talk to them every night, but guess what? Y'all in that same pool at times, but y'all don't want to admit it, so I'm over it. So if you feel as though I'm insensitive, I'm mean, and you can't handle it, my show ain't for you, boo. Go somewhere else. I'm over it. I really am. Wow. <laughs> oh. 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 Ouch. Oh. Wow. Did y'all expect that? <laughs> Woo. Okay, guys. I will put the original link in the description below. What I do on my channel is I don't hog all these reactions, okay? If y'all want to see the original one uninterrupted, there was a good 14 or 15 minutes of the video before I even started this reaction, and there's still more after the fact here. So I will put the link in the description below. Wow. Um, let's see here. Um, Kendra's fed up. I noticed that I didn't cut in. I didn't chop in and scratch like a DJ Premier song, you know, like sampling here, trying to get my my two cents in. Uh, she might have hurt my YouTube algorithm for this video here about being monetized. I don't care because you know what, though, this needs to be heard. I've done several videos on Kendra G a lot, and we have criticized her and we should be because the things that she has done and said or the things that she has missed when women's called into her show looking for a man, trying to date and trying to find a husband. But as Kendra stated, she's been doing her ID show for two years. And you know what? It gets a little bit hard when you're dealing with women all the time. And all it is if you just have just a little bit of criticism, a little bit of feedback, or you might have a little bit of pushback to say, hey, you know what, ladies? You're doing this wrong here. I know I'm a single woman, but I don't even act like that. And what do we see happen here with Kendra? After all these years, the women are railing against her. The women are fighting back against her. Why? Because she doesn't make them feel good all the time when she's online. She doesn't make them feel good when she does her dating show. So what do we see here? When she gives just one criticism, if she has just one pushback, the whole sister code rails against her. So now in 2022, 
Kendra sees, oh my God, these guys ain't lying. The men have been telling the truth. The men can have one little thing here and the women are gonna come out in droves and kill these men here. And I'm tired of it. I'm fed up with it. That's why y'all single. So fellas, don't be alarmed or don't be afraid of the fact that how women may be treating us, whether you're an average guy and you're just trying to build yourself up, you may be younger, or you may be a little bit older and you have some setbacks and you're still trying to get on your way. Don't feel bad. These are modern women. Modern women have their own fate. Like Kevin Samuel say, to get a dog and die alone or get a cat and die alone, these women have their own standards, their own ways, and they're not listening to men, let alone they're not even listening to women. So what are we doing here in these channels? We are giving men the advice. We're giving them the tools. We're letting them to open their eyes to say, hey, you know what? If this is the type of woman here, I need to run away. Because you know what though? Even though modern women are crazy, not all women like this here. And from my comment section, I'll give this advice here. Sometimes fellas, you might have to leave this country. Maybe the United States women is not for you. Maybe you need to zoom to another country. There's nothing wrong with that because if you're realizing that your circumstances, your opportunities to find what you want is very minimum, what do we do as men? We have to go to find the results that we need to get the said desires. Because if we live in an area where that the women are not what you're looking for here, you're not going to get your results. So we have to relocate. We have to move. We have to travel. Open your standards. Open your barriers. Because women like this here, who is married, used to, well, let me take that back. She was married. And what does she do? She is lying about the kids that are actually biological. We can't make this up. Okay, she literally wants to lie on the two cocks. I'm gonna say that here because Kendra was cursing earlier. She had two cocks and she only wants to claim one. And you can't do that when you have kids. So imagine the women lying about their body counts when even they don't have kids. If they're gonna lie about their body counts with the kids that they do have. So fellas, what we say here is to be mindful, be smart, guard your heart as well as your mind, think, positively and look at the whole view before choosing a woman here. You have to listen to every single word they say and then bring it back to them. Cause we're literally showing the women in my comment section, the fact that, oh, she didn't mean what she said. Well, you know what ladies, stop that shit. If you say it, you mean it, you can't rewind it back. The only time you can say that is when you're talking, like I said in one of my other videos, and you say, you know what though, that's about five minutes ago. I'm, 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 I apologize, that was six minutes ago. You catch yourself and you correct course action. Not you say something, 10 minutes down the line, you hear everything and you don't like the way it came out from your mouth and you got put in your place and then you try to change the answer. Nope, 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 nope. It's not the way it is. Stand firm, stand on these words here that they use and you give it back to them, let them know that this is what you said and it's not what you mean, then you're a liar. This woman here is a clear cut liar and she tried to justify why she lied by saying that she is open and transparent. You know what this is here? She's transparent about lying. So men, be careful. Guard your heart, guard your wallet. And for the ladies here, if you're tired of modern women who is making you look bad, call it out. Do not be part of the sister code. Be like, look here, I am tired of y'all issues, y'all mess, and y'all making us all look bad because men are not the ones who are crazy here. We're seeing that these ladies here, they're doing as much damage as well. Comment, like, subscribe. Click on that bell notification below. I wanna hear what you guys gotta say about this video here. Are you guys shocked at how Kendra G just went off and lost it? And will we see future videos where that is she really a part of the sister code or will she actually have better talking points for the manosphere? Am I off base here? And also I wanna know what you think about this woman calling in here and making up the lies about her baby's fathers. I wanna hear from y'all. But until next time, I'm that dude named Dave. See y'all later, YouTube world.